Hey, what's up, guys? We are back to the third part and final part of our video here on building the PWM controller, the yeah, PWM motor controller. First, we did it with an LED to show you how it was done. Next, we moved on and we added a MOSFET and some control circuitry so that we could actually control a motor with it. Once we finished that up, we talked just briefly about adding a flyback diode to the thing to make it a little little bit safer, make it run a little bit more smoothly. And let's go and design a PCB to put this all together. We'll throw in our flyback diode and we'll see what we get from there. What do you say? All right, so let's take a look at our circuit here. We have distinct parts. We have our 555 timer. We have our charging circuitry and then we have over here our motor driver circuitry so the 555 timer is set up exactly like we did in the last two videos we're using the potentiometer with two diodes so that we can control the discharge and the uh, threshold you see they're coming into different places we follow the current through here, down through this one. It's going to come to the threshold. Then we follow it through here and up through here and down around here. It's going to come to the discharge. So there we have our second one. And our uh, timing is, of course, controlled by this 100 nanofarad capacitor here. This is just where the power comes in. And then over here is where we have our MOSFET. And then right here is where we have our diode to control the flyback from the motor. That's when the motor shuts off because the motor is an inductive device. There's going to be a spike as that inductor discharges. We don't want it to feed back through the MOSFET and into the 555 timer. So what will happen here is when that discharges, it's going to discharge through this path here and back into the motor. And that will take care of things. Here is our circuit board. Looks pretty simple. I had a hard time finding a footprint to fit one of my potentiometers. I'm going to have to draw my own. But there we have our timing diodes and then we have our flyback diode here. So that's all looking pretty good. And there's our completed board. Minus the heat sink on the MOSFET. And you can see I did a ground plane there. So everything looks good and copacetic. All that's left now are to order up our Gerbers. So let's go do that. Okay. So to get your boards, we we'll just come over here to Instant Quote quick order PCB select our Gerber file in this case it's called the PWM controller board it's uploading the Gerber now I want five boards two layers blackboard white lettering tick mark and then I'm going to choose the lowest cost shipping which in this case is USPS for eleven dollars so that's three bucks a board including shipping you're gonna get these in about a week not bad if you ask me now it might be different from where you're at in uh, Europe or Asia or Africa or South America, but here in the U.S. it's going to be about a week, and for 15 bucks you're getting five boards shipped to your door. Not bad. Yes, PCB Way is a sponsor of this channel, but I wouldn't use them if they didn't do good work. You know, I stand by everything I show you on this channel. So give them a try, see if they're right for you. That's all we can ask, right? All right, so. We got the boards back from PCB Way. You can take a look here, they're looking pretty good. You can see the ground plane in there. All right. You know what we need now? High speed build montage video. Let's do it.
All right, there's our board, all nice and ready. We got the power wires hooked to it. All right, blue is ground, so we'll hook them up. And we got our motor here. Hookity, hookity, hookity up. Turn that down to minimum. Power it on at 8 volts. Here it's humming. There we go. Slow speed. Not bad, continuously variable. Let's hook it up to the scope. Have a look. So you can see we're down there about 17% crank this baby up all the way we'll look about a 94% duty cycle maxed out at almost 99% and then all the way down to where it stalls Well, I'm still taking it down. That's minimum. So we're looking at 12%. Yeah, check that out. That's at the 12%. Nice. That worked out really well. So I will put this up on the PCB Way website where you can download the Gerbers for free. And I think you'll have a good time. All right, so I've been running this thing now for about 20 minutes. It is 19 degrees C in the house. And you can see right there on the outer case of that MOSFET, we're looking at 23 degrees C. And, you know, it's just not even warm to the touch. Nothing is. So everything there is functioning great, and I will call this board a success. I hope you enjoyed this video. You always ask me to make something useful. Well, there's something useful. A PWM motor controller. Or you could call it a variable speed motor controller. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. And a big thanks to you for watching it. That's it. I'm out. Peace.